This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Borsodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Pesodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders! Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No! Stand to attention! And shut your giggy! Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sut it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Just note, I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neuve and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? I could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've never seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh. Might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But, Horst is like to show his head during the auction. I'll introduce you to him. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only have a collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. egg. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate? Could get to attractive terms on a mortgage? No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Marks? Come on, you know damn well that makes no sense.
Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing Gwent. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions... Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Did you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Veda Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horst Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. A landscape? You detest them. Ever true. But it's got a lovely frame. Some spilled wine, nothing else. Mm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me, I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tinge shorter than you, wore a mustache. 
Do I know him? The man taught me everything I know. What? How is he? If you don't mind my asking. Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Besamir. Of the school of the wolf, he came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Besamir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me, did he at least die like a witcher? No, he died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now... Be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. to introduce you, Geralt of Rivia. Enchanted. Pleasure's all mine. How's it? Got your eye on any sparkly bits today? Not really. I buy what strikes me fancy. I need something right sumptuous for me walls just now. Nilfgaard. I get it right? Excuse me? Your Gwent deck. It's Nilfgaard, innit? Come on, admit it. Not a bad deck, Nilfgaard, but I'll take the Northern Realms over it any day. Ah, understood. A patriot. You ought to know, Helmut. Geralt here is a positively superb player. Superb! Hmm. We got a minute before the auction starts, so... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Maybe around? Suppose it's not whether you win or lose. Sure, I'm game. Brilliant. I'll lay my cards out. Naturally. Uh, Geralt, might you have a wee word? What is it? Well, mate, since I brought yous together, I do believe I'm owed a share of your winnings, if there are any. Ten percent. A finder's fee of sorts, you can. Mm -hmm. Pretty clear now why you wanted us to meet. One cardinal bit I've learnt in my tree, friend. Coin that a stink. So, what'll it be? Well, you did help with the guards at the door. All right. Ten percent of any winnings is yours. Any chance for a fifteen? Don't push it, Vimy. All right. Game on.
Unbelievable. I don't buy it. You cheated. You must have something. Hexed me or whatnot. Oh, I'd be careful with the gab, Hilbert. Afore Geralt takes a mind to demanding satisfaction. <laughs> you give it to him, you damn midget. You bearded pinch fist. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Interest will be a right bit higher when that bugger next comes round asking for a loan. Yaramir, uh, might we trouble ye a wee spell? Mm hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Hmm? Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nobe? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nobe, the master from Maribor. Mm. The pastoral scene, I think. Incorrect. But I suppose I might have expected your gaze to look homewards to the country. Adieu. What a jackass. Ah, fuck him. Typical Arista cunt. I've grown accustomed. Ah. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Oh. Come with me to the fort. I won't see much elseways. Jimmy, listen. Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horse Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? If you think you can spot me a couple hundred. Of course, pal, and at a very favorable rate of interest. Just one crown on ten when you pay me back. Here, ought to do you for a bit of daffery. Happy hunting to you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumour has it the figure harbours a treasure inside. A rumour one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The whitehead gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once? Twice? Thrice? Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? My, my, this is lively. I have 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. 
Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns. It's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes at 20. Do I hear 30? 20 going once, going twice, going thrice. Sold! Van Roe's starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold. Mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny, dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible. With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once. Going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, afore some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. Exactly. Pretty serious oversight. I see no reason why the faux pas should taint our newfound acquaintance. Acquaintance? I honestly don't know what you think this is, Vagrant. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? The Borsodi's Auction House. I'm assuming the name's no coincidence. Got a relative I could talk to? Someone... How do I say this? A smidgen less irritating? <laughs> uh, name's a historical legacy, Geralt. Auction House was founded by two brothers, Horst's father and an uncle. In this generation... I, and only I, am it. So get to the point. Now. Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsodi's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand-in-hand hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It was a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Come on, lads. Ow! Yeah! Ugh. 
You'll never learn. Damn it. Booger's going down. Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gore. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist. Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. You'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. I'll be seeing you. I hope. Watch your step. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Right 
Honor in the fatherland. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. You've come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You one I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me anyway, anyhow. You won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in, or are you not? The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? Less to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You in or not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist or not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door. Windows, dimeridian bars. But, not a fortress out there without a weakness. 
This one's no if patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Looks bleak to me. Tower wall smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, but a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I. But that's among the details. Which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I'd say. To make suspicions. Hmm. Now the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. He could also use your fists. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorites have line gallow. A circus artist no better as the uh, <laughs> Just now performing with a troop somewhere near Oxford. Specialities. Rhythmic gymnastics. <laughs> Breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the router troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. I would doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felt monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cop from the roof of the town hall in Nova. So, the out of Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Nova Grand Gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently. Wicked dangerous. All right, opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he can blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt meat. Vault door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plane turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Certainly <laughs> got nabbed a few days back <laughs> by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. 
Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways, all together. I don't think you know what you're doing. You, Quinto? The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa! I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage. Right? First you use threat to extort coin, and now you want to scheme with my prisoner. Not a chance. What did he do to step on your toes? Ours, not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. And as Master Hands of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You. Or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. But I've a special rate for you. You fleece me. Now it's my turn. Buy him out? Pretty pedestrian. How about we play a round of cards for Quinto's freedom? Hmm, why not? The lose and the price on his head'll double. You in. What the hell? I'm game. Got my fingers crossed.
As for me too, let's total it up. I win. Heavy-handed hands, the Tretagor maneuver, with cards like that. Now, get him out of here before I fucking burst her. What? How did you? Fishbone, did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out, which I showed up before I could. Let that be my recommendation. Now, do tell. What's it you need me for? Need you to open something for me. Something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. spent it all. Every last copper. Well, you could, you know, find more. Of course that's your solution. That's always your solution. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you, talk. What do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Eveline, I beg you. You don't know him. What's that supposed to mean? He introduced himself, did you not hear? Geralt of Rivia. Stop pretending you don't understand me. You cannot know if he's to be trusted. Not a soul can be trusted. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we've not spent it already. Ah, uh, I think I know where this is going. Then I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Eveline, I'm not certain that's a good idea. Neither am I. It shall all come out in the wash. So, Witcher, what'll it be? Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? 
Folk have grown nervous. What? I mean now? No rehearsals? What's that to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. Hit it square on. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of marksmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Wow, Troy! What? But I... Shh, Geralt, grab your crossbow and get to work. Audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. Go, go. Enjoy living, freak, while you can. What do you have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? That's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the tests, apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army? Thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. I do ask. Well, think on it. 
to marry into a dynasty like that. It'd be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Basodis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm, nothing interesting. What do you have to say? This chowder for supper of the day. Not true. Who told you? No one. Came through the western gate in the morning. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's a right treasure he is. Cook like that's a right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just the gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Watch your step. Put away your weapon. Biting? Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys at the garrison on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye. I'll help. Out to kindness. Wait for the signal. And mum's the word. Understood? Leave her alone. Why's that? Want us to plow you? Is that it? Doable, but you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. Piss off before I kick your asses. We'll see who kicks whose ass. Get him, lads! Pound his gob! Let's dance. No!
And Countess Yvonne of Lanexeter's necklace. Your handiwork, wasn't it? It was. I scaled a gutter, entered her bedchamber. Ha! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Ah! At last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, it's vault. That's our target. Have a line, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, as I know. From. It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Quinto will crack the lock. We get in the vault, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Hmm. All good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously. You're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. What about the vault? How is it secured? With a door. But you ought to be able to handle it. Any other problems, we resolve as they come. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. Great. But if you were to... Find that location, I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about wearing masks? Not a city in the north that don't have wanted posters with my likeness hanging about. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the city watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you. With me own hands. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together, now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Eveline, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, 
two, one. City foul, shite all over again. serves. You assured us there be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. must be old. String seems to say so too. It was true love. For now, knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Yes, but we shall raise the starting point. Watch this! Guards! Guards! I should have stayed in that cage. You said... I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Oh, <laughs> ah. uh.
pig! He's not to flee! Locked themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. But we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can, just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide, kill a hostage? Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself. No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. So we want a wagon. And horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets? <laughs> he means it! Good point. A wagon, then? What kind? Time he took a gander downstairs. Vaults open. We're not picky. Any old cart, long as it has wheels that roll. All right, I'll get it done. In exchange, you must release the hostages. How many? All of them. You know I can't do that. Here's a compromise. One hostage now, the rest once the wagon arrives. So be it. Agreed. Thanks be to my little air. But anything smells fishy, or you dawdle even a bit, heads will roll, understand? Calm now. You'll hear horses neighing before a quarter hour's out. Macho, Shadru, city stables, on the double. <sighs> Good work. Sorry, boys. You'll have to go on without me. I didn't sign on for this turn of events. Just one way out of here. Through the vault. There's a second. The chimney. I believe I'll squeeze through. Doubt you can, Witcher. You've no choice, I'm afraid. Let's go. Downstairs. The lock, lovingly crafted. Two spring-loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, Dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. 
Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move. With no time. Or die. Shit. Same paintings were on the block. Same paintings were on the block. Same paintings were on the block. with. On the contrary, I know all too well. You... you old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Well, well. Complications, complications. Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. But it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Hmm. No takers, no sale. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them! I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. 
Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you. Mercy. For your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. Oh, you won't. Then walk out as you stand with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Like a beast. And you've the cheek. To plead. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. Hmm. Dumb. But have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. As I said. At your service, mate. of time. Now to get out of here.
Long live it. What are they doing? Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches are sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interesting? How so? Common carouses and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few fell me themselves. They're company for drinking sports at least. And ever since I began travelling with him, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. First time I've seen a sabre like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a... gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my sabre's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. The mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaber's eager to face Olkir von Everick, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness as common as the clap. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks, live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? Give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. Oh, Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage, with no thought to it actually taking hold. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. Believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Lay out your cards.
shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand. It's unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Need something else? you have for me? Max Brasotti's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. I think I might find the stomach for another, once your final wish is fulfilled. <laughs> you really don't like me, do you? Hate smartasses. Hate it when they try to use me. It's why both brothers are dead, and why you should tread carefully. Noted. Now I have some advice for you. The Borsodis aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatay. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Vilmeria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Family's lost it for good, and the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. Made her wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaired immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tankard. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher? 
was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time to stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. Come on, none of this dallying. Oh, oh, oh. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood? I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors, with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn. Raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenford claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved? Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. 
I ride now to visit this Dawnless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt.